We are here on Nelson Street in Port of Spain with Mr. Fuad Abu Bakr, the leader of the new national vision. There is a saying, Mr. Abu Bakr, that the most potent weapon of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. And many people find themselves backed into a corner or oppressed, whether it be psychologically, politically, emotionally, or economically. Can you shed some light on this? Sure. If you just look around at the surroundings of Port of Spain, the constituency in which I will represent, you would see the neglect straight in your face. You would see on the faces of the children the desire for better. You would hear in the words of the people of Port of Spain uh, discussed with the neglect that has transpired for so long. So I am here now to make a, a change for Trinidad and Tobago, and of course, support is being south. Mr. Abu Bakr, do you think that there are enough activities here that can make a difference to our youth, since our youth are uh, the future of our society, that will keep them away from crime or criminal activities? There, there are not enough activities, there are not enough jobs for the young who have come out of school. There are even not enough jobs for those elder people who are looking for sustainable employment to better their lives and to take care of their families. Port of Spain speaks for itself. Anybody who has eyes to see will look at this community and understand that change must happen. And you know something you said earlier, Fuad, that they are not invisible. See me. I am a footballer. I am a boxer. I am a basketballer. I am a soldier. Oh my goodness. Thank oh. you. Thank I want people to envision this being converted, converted into the future of Trinidad and Tobago. This becoming a modern, beautiful metropolis. This becoming the place in Trinidad and Tobago. This being rebuilt by the people of Port of Spain and all the urban communities being rejuvenated, providing the employment for people to sustain their lives, providing the future gateway for Trinidad and Tobago. This, this dilapidated city, this neglected city, this people who have been forgotten, being the catalyst for a new future for Trinidad and Tobago. They always say that the block that has been discarded will become the cornerstone. Yes. And I will become the cornerstone for Trinidad and Tobago politically. It almost feels as though I get the embodiment of a, a Malcolm X in you. When you said that um, you are the voice of the dumb children, you are the voice of the poor, you are the voice of the oppressed, see me. And we are all seeing them. And you are what? A footballer. Go. And who are you? A boxer. Go. And who are you, my son? A basketballer. Go. And who are you? Yes, go. And this could be our children. And when you see them, you don't see another gunman, you don't see another criminal, you don't see another stereotype. We do not turn another blind eye because these are our children. Thank you, Fuad. Thank you very much.